It's a big just, glass, but even a, even a big glass needs a refill once in a while. You're the only one that can pull that glass off. That's what I told him, yeah. I would actually look outrageous. I actually think Phil Helmuth pulled it off even better than me. No way. Because of all the, the yeah, glitter. I agree with that. Because of all the glitter. He can't drink like you can drink. Five. Five? I did shots of Patron with Phil one time. And he can, he can put him, he can drink. My funnest drinking night ever, Tom was there. It was in London. Dude, in London with, with, with Chairman and Marcus. That was the night where I somehow owned Marcus's soul. Like Marcus is completely three aces for JRB. Forever. Who just and casually continues his story. I just beat him every pot. Maybe just because I finally called him every pot. Juan throws in 5,000, thinks that kings could be good. Rick calls with the tens. Full house is all around. Check. Check. Rick doesn't have a full house and he checks. So let's see what the first full house does. Check. He's got to be scared of two guys behind him. One of them should have an ace. 20,000 20, from Balan. Would JRB bluff here? And I guess Juan thinks he might. I don't think there's any way with the two guys he's in against that he would bet with a king. He bets another 20,000. That's a good bet. Juan is trying to decide, would JRB fire two blanks into this pot? Uh. It takes aces full to get JRB to stop telling his stories. <laughs> Juan's talking himself into calling. Damn it, Robert. Why you gotta do this to me? How big is that glass? How much wine's in there? <laughs> That big stupid wine glass. I think it's gonna get a donation from me. Straight flush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Always value bet the math, guys. <laughs> and the soundtrack starts again. It's hard for them to fold six to one on their money. <laughs> Dude, how many full houses have you had cracked tonight? <laughs> Looks like the old Vino did him good.